Think about it. Why would someone pay Butters to cause more chaos? Who could it be? Maybe it's that Tommy Nelson kid. He's always been kind of a dick. I'll have a seat, Thunderpants. You know, even Human Kite filled out his character sheet, and he's like a fucking kite. What if the person paying Butters wasn't a kid? I is that it, Chaos? Were you paid by an adult? I'm telling you, I don't know his name, fellas. Nobody does. He's just trying to unite all the crime families in town. He's everywhere. He's nameless. Faceless. He can change his appearance like the wind changes direction. Wait, what did you say? He says there's a revolution coming, and the darkness of our own hearts will bring about our undoing. Oh, my God. He... He is that which liberates, and he knows the true weakness of tolerance. And his coming will bring about a tide of chaos like nothing we've never seen, you betcha. Oh my god. Could it be? No, it's impossible. What's impossible? There's only one person I know of who can disguise himself so easily. And it's the same person who might have a motive for tearing South Park apart. Who? Mitch Connor. Mitch Connor? Oh no, 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 no. Who's Mitch Connor? It's Carbon's dumbass hand puppet. You know damn well that Connor was just using my hand to suit his needs. At first, he disguised himself as Jennifer Lopez, who loves tacos and burritos. When his cover was blown, he was arrested by the police, but escaped. But why would he want to take down Zappar? And where would he get all his money? Shut up! It's not Mitch, stupid fucking Connor! How do you know? No, Kyle is right, you guys. It couldn't be Mitch Connor. Connor died in an oil rig explosion in northern Alaska. Fuck this. I'm going to bed. Yes, yes, good idea, human kite. Everyone get back to your homes, it's getting late. Let's all reconvene tomorrow. After skiing. And now, the news program that starts your day off right. Good morning, South Park. The South Park vigilante struck again last night, this time at a meth lab in the downtown New Stort facility. Here with more is a midget in a fedora. Tom, six people were arrested last night after the vigilante exposed a huge meth lab in the storage facility behind me. Eyewitnesses have come forward with shocking reports that the vigilante's farts were so awful they seemed to actually rip the fabric of time. You ain't never heard a fart like this, man. It was like one minute he farted on my dick and the next thing my dick was like 20 seconds in the past. Finally, someone is standing up to all the crime in this city. If you ask me, these people here all deserve to be farted on. He's a menace if you ask me. How long before this vigilante gets radical and blows up a school or a church, huh? How long before Captain America becomes Captain Ideology? Huh? The third Captain America movie? How long was that? About six years? About six years! Dozens of protesters gathered outside the police station today as a warrant was issued for the vigilante's arrest. This city will not be victimized by mass crusaders who sneak around and fart on people at night. We urge all citizens to arm themselves and fight against this kind of rectal oppression. <sighs> yeah, it's me. Nobody knows anything about this kid. Not what race he is, not even if it's a boy or a girl. What do we do, sir? Just keep getting the product into people's drugs and alcohol. I'll handle the vigilante. This deal's getting out of control. You said you could get the mayor out of office. You wanted to be left alone, Commissioner. To do what you love doing. I've made that happen. Just stay calm and soon everyone will have exactly what they want. Kid, right? My name's Wendy. Nice to have you at our school. That little problem Call Girl told you about? It's a lot worse. The Chamber of Commerce wants to get rid of the vigilante no matter what it takes. You know the bathrooms in the park? Call Girl wants you to meet her there. Right now. Yeah, anyway, nice to have you in town, new kid. See? You just spun around and different clothes came on. That's dumb. New kid! I, uh, think you might be in the wrong bathroom. Or maybe I am. Sorry! I think it's wrong they make cisgendered people share a bathroom. It must be so hard for you. Anyway, I've got a problem, new kid. I'm like you, an outsider. 
I've been watching as adults in our town act stranger and stranger, but nobody will listen to me. I started cross-referencing everyone's Instagrams to see what kind of connection I could find. And that's when it happened. Somebody canceled my cellular data plan. My phone is dead. Whoever did this has to pay. I'm going to the mobile company to find out what happened. I can't go alone. I'm asking for your help, new kid. I think you're the only one who understands. Oh, hey, new kid. All right, are you ready to do this? If I can't use my mobile devices, I can't save this town. Let's go find out what's wrong with this place. Welcome to D-Mobile. Can I help you? Bad people, bad people. Look like bad wicked mobile stores like people. Uh, yeah, I'm having a lot of problems connecting to the internet. Your name and D-Mobile number, please. Your name and D-Mobile number, please. Wait a minute. You weren't the people who worked here last week. That's right. We are proud to... Shh. We are glad, people, to work in this fine place. Can I interest you in a new contract with up to five gigabytes of data per month? No, I just want my phone to work right. Excellent, Hillman! How dare you shout our data plan? I knew it. The phone company's been taken over by crab people. She's on to us. Call girl, save us! Come on, new kid. Let's wipe the floor with him. Don't think I'll summon the manager. Glad to be working with you, new kid. for this. resume.
You're gonna have to open about a dozen help tickets after this. New kid. I must be chat, Mr. Connor. We have help. Who are you gonna call? That's right. Oh, thank you, call girl. I don't know what those things were, but they smelled like crab and kissed like people. How can we repay you? Just get my phone working again, all right? Yes, yes, of course, call girl. Thanks for saving the mobile store once again. Thanks, new kid, but I have a feeling this isn't over. If you smell crap, call me. All right, listen. I have this ex-friend who I hate now, and he still has my goddamn laptop. Go get it from him and tell him if he doesn't let you have it, I'm calling the fucking cops. His name is Tweak. You'll probably find him at his parents' coffee house. Get my fucking laptop back for that prick. Thanks for your service, Vigilante. Hello, welcome to Tweet Coffee. What can I interest you in today? Got some new beans in, so very fresh. Well, it sure was a pleasure. How nice of you to make Tweet Brothers the official coffee shop of the Farting Vigilante. Sorry, I'm just so worried about Tweak. Does he seem okay to you? How are those taste tests coming, son? I can't even taste the difference anymore! Well, keep sampling. We need to come up with the perfect sunset blend. What's this? Give me my fucking laptop. Oh, you work for him, huh? Well, you can go back and tell him he can have his laptop back when I get my fucking guinea pig back! We bought it when we were together, but Stripe is mine. I paid for him, and I have the receipt. You think it's right for him to keep Stripe while he's the one who didn't stand up for me? You tell him that. Well, what did Tweak say about my laptop? The fucking guinea pig? Uh, fine. You know where Stripe's cage is. Go get him and give him to that fucking asshole. When you give that to Tweak, you make sure he knows that when you walk out on someone, you don't get to make up the rules anymore. Hello, welcome to Tweak Coffee. What can I interest you in today? Dude, go get Stripe from my house and give him to Tweak so I can get my damn laptop back. When you give that to Tweak, you make sure he knows that when you walk out on someone, you don't get to make up the rules anymore. Dude, you haven't given Stripe back to Tweak yet? He's gonna be... Hello, welcome to Tweet Coffee. What can I interest you in today? Oh, he finally decided to be reasonable, huh? Fine. Here's a stupid laptop. Oh, hello, uh, new kid, right? Listen, I see you're really trying hard to get my son and his boyfriend back together, and, well, I so appreciate it. Having a gay son is really good for the coffee business. I think all they need is a little relationship counseling. Could you give this to Craig? Maybe together, we can both help them out, huh? <laughs> Hello there, customer. What can I get for you? You come on back any time. We'll be right here. What'll it be? Well, it sure was a pleasure. Hello, welcome.
welcome to Tweet Coffee. What can I interest you in today? Where is it? Counseling? Tweak wants me to go to counseling with him? No way. Tell him there's no way I'll go to counseling unless you go too. I need my support team. Dude, tell Tweak he can stuff his couple's counseling up his ass. Hello, welcome to Tweak Coffee. What can I interest you in today? A little coffee out of coffee. Ouch. Relationship counseling? Craig? Are you shitting me? Well, fine, I'll do it. As long as you're there. You seem to be able to get him to think rationally. 